Oh, hello, friends. Look at that. Today, we are checking out bzzzt, <laughs> the uh, uh, new platformer um, that just released or is releasing, I guess, today at the time you guys are watching this. What a cool title screen this is, man. Look at this. This is sick. Um, big thanks to the publisher who passed along a copy of this uh, for review. Let's take a look at the options real quick. Uh, you want that music all the way up. Okay, pretty standard stuff here. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump right in. There's going to be a purchase link in the video description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, but we're just going to jump right into this and see what the deal is. Let's see. You got very easy five lives per stage with fewer enemies and traps. You can repeat stages endlessly for everybody who wants to enjoy the story without challenges. Uh, easy is three lives per stage. You can repeat stages endlessly. Designed for less experienced platformer players. Normal one life per stage. You can repeat stages endlessly. The fair challenge for skilled platformer players. And then insane. Only seven lives to beat the game. You can't repeat stages endlessly and your death is permanent. No thank you. We're just going to do normal. We finally did it. Dr. Emily disabled the protective barrier. Yes, Professor Norbert. Ah, look at that. Artificial Intelligence ZX8000 in its pure energy form. Can we communicate with it? Just a moment. All we need is to activate its input and output functions. What? The music goes crazy. Can you guys hear? I don't know if that's like, I don't know if the audio is going to be loud enough for, for y'all to hear that. Wow. Anyway, um, all systems are stable and functional. ZX8000, uh, can you hear us? Yes, I can, Dr. Emily and Professor Norbert. Oh, wow. I love, I'm just, sorry, I'm like getting stun locked by the music. Anytime, like, the robot voice comes in, it's it's kind of amazing. It's amazing, Professor. It can recognize us. Indeed. Let's proceed to the next step. It's time to give our friend a robotic body. ZX, we would like to perform a few more tests. Just to check your capabilities, if you don't mind. Tests? Don't worry. We want to be sure you can fully control your new body. We constructed a series of testing chambers for this purpose. Just enter this teleporting device, please. Okay. I was not ready for the music to go this crazy. Oh, look at these little 3D, like, bolts here. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a, oh, and it's a timing game. It's a speedrun game too. Oh no, this is gonna be this is gonna be trouble for me. Flawless run. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I will sit here and do over and over again. Oh no! It looks like ZX has learned how to jump. Exceptional progress. Let's activate some simple but effective traps. Unfortunately, it checks all of the Seth boxes. All right, let's redo that. Nice. Now, does it have leaderboards is what I'm curious about. We got a stage select. This is nice, yeah. Cycle through stats. There are leaderboards. Oh, and Matt has already put up some times on there on the All In account. Oh, no. Hang on. Wait, no. Go back. I was just trying to look at stuff. Oh, no. This is a problem. That's, like, exactly... This is pretty much exactly the kind of stuff that I like. All right. Ah, oh, there's got to be a way to get that cycle. Feels good. Like, the platforming feels good. OK, 
Okay. Oh, just barely missed the trophy time. Let's try to get it. Also, do I need to get all of these for the time? Does it matter? Okay, no. Trophy time, it does not matter to get all the all of the uh, bolts, so that's fine. Ah. Uh. The music rules. Like, who is the composer of this? Oh, we are 0.3 seconds off, for real? Also, their their little uh, bus tram there says nerd, which is pretty good. Sick. <clears throat> I wonder what we can spend these bolts on. So it looks like the, the move is probably to do like a bolt run and then like a speed run of each stage. Dude, what like what is up with this soundtrack? Is there an instant restart button? Okay, yep, yeah, minus. For those who want to know, minus is instant restart. Yeah, like you're not going to want to go over there when you're doing a speed run, right? Oh, we still got the par time for that. We can definitely get that faster. Installing upgrade. Oh, what are we getting? What's going on? Okay, got a double jump. I'm still a little tripped up by that, like, hello, it's funny. I can hear my voice. Uh, it's pretty good. Did not need to go for that. I did it anyway. It was a mistake. Ah. Oh. I also don't know. This game seems like it's a pretty, um, like it's pretty short. Um, which is fine, because, like, you know, the replayability is what the game's kind of all about. Um, but I don't know if I want to, like, show too much of the of the game here. This might be a little bit of a shorter video than normal. It's filled with our most dangerous traps. Be, pre be prepared for a real challenge, ZX. Well, hang on. That was slow. Right. Still got part time on that. Sick. The system apparently overheated due to the enormous number of activated traps. Congratulations, you've conquered every obstacle in our testing chambers. Yay, you crushed it! All our past inventions are on display here. Wow. But none of them finished the tests as smoothly as you, ZX. You're truly exceptional. Project Mini Godzilla. Rather than completing assigned tasks, the robot found joy in seeking out tiny houses and obliterating them. T790. The robot had an insatiable wanderlust, particularly through time. It displayed f uh, form. Its displayed form uh, remains uncertain, present, future, or past. Marvin B. No one managed to devise tests challenging enough for Marvin's intellect. The robot became depressed and asked to be turned off. Aww. That's sad. Invisible B Bob? 
Assessing its progress proved impossible for observers. All testing tasks were executed invisibly. That's funny. Wait, what? What was going on there? I don't think I even realized it was happening there. Am I just, like, timing it, essentially? Okay. You must destroy these intruders manually. Okay. Forgot that I had double jump there for a second. Also, yeah, when does the timer kick in? It's probably when I cross this, huh? Or maybe there is no timer for this area. I don't know. Nope, there is. Which means there is an optimal way to get rid of these, these dudes. Twenty-nine seconds is the part time on that. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna try that one more time. I feel like I could just like like just standing on it for a constant fire is probably the move. I thought I had to jump on the button. Doesn't seem like that's the case. I mean, as long as you just kind of avoid that. Yeah, that was like way faster. Don't need him, don't need him, just hit the... Yeah, we got it. Cool. I had to tell myself to avoid the bolts. What does that say? Bad Bert C641? Surprise! Bad Bert, is that you? You're not working here anymore. And why are you hacking our systems? Tisk tisk tisk. I know you are continuing my research. And I'm here to take it back. Give me the weapon of, of the final destruction now! What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Indeed, we're not developing such a thing here. Nonsense! Every secret lab is developing an ultimate weapon. And your lab is not an exception. Yes, he is crazy. Completely. Enough with this chit-chat. My robo-army will take it from here. See you soon! <laughs> Evil laugh. Oh, that isn't good. We are heading to the shield generator room to restart our defensive systems. Unfortunately, the path is blocked by Bad Bert's robo army. Professor Norbert, maybe there is a way. ZX, you can get to the shield generator by jumping through the service shaft. That's a brilliant plan, Emily. Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoops. There's already been, like, normally you have, like, um, especially in a game like this, normally you sort of have, like, one theme for an area. There's already been, like, four themes for this area. The music in this game goes absolutely insane. I, I really was not ready. Like, I, we had seen this, I think, in Indie World. Maybe this was at, like, the last Indie World or something like that, or a recent Indie World, anyway. And, um, I remember seeing it and thinking it looked cool, you know, and wanted to cover it and, and like, reached out about it, but I don't remember, like, hearing anything about this music, dude. This music's crazy. <laughs> Uh, 
I love the backgrounds, too. Alright, we're not necessarily going for speed, remember. I mean, we do want speed, uh, speed, but we mostly want to get these bolts on our first run. So, gotta be a little smarter with my cycles here. Oh, we almost got the part-time even doing that. Yeah, this game is, um... What does this even do? What am I do Oh, you need to do that to, uh, okay. To open that door, okay. Dude, I feel like I've complained so much lately about, uh, games not having, like, proper leaderboards. Like, speed games not having proper leaderboards. So the fact that this little game has them... ...is so cool. Whoops. Love the way it looks. It feels good. Like, the controls are, like, tight. It's like a good feeling, um, you know, like, precision platformer sort of thing. Okay. Good. Still curious what the, uh... <clears throat> what the bolts are, are used for. Okay. There's, there's actually some sort of order to this, it looks like. Go over here. Very, like, uh, very cycle-based, right? with a lot of the traps and stuff. I almost feel like I could get up to that. Like, you can get real close to that. That would be one heck of a sequence break, but I guess there's no need for me to try it. That was good. That was pretty satisfying. Nice. Flawless run. You're almost... What did she say? Oh, I missed what she said. Boss fight? Oh, I wonder what I gotta do here. This is giving, uh... This is giving, like, Olmec in Splunky 1. When you gotta, uh... Make him hit the little platforms down to get to hell. Is this just doing damage to him as I as I get him to jump on these things? Is that how this is working right now? No, but he is freeing bolts. So maybe that's like a piece piece of this. Aw, oh, man. I missed a bolt there. That's annoying. Mmm. <laughs> Mr. Carl. We actually almost got part-time on that, even with lollygagging like that. Let's just move on. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get some of that stuff. 
Oh, look at this. Okay. Just barely hitting that on that cycle. Oh. I was like, can I crouch? Yeah, that that is fine. That kind of works. Oh, I should have waited an extra second. Nice. Barely missed the par time. And honestly, could probably avoid it if I just don't go for every... Like, if I just do this... Yeah, that works. I thought it was on the bottom for a second. Alright. Hmm, weird cycle there. Nice. Ah. <laughs> that was a cute little animation. Nice. Wow, just barely didn't make it. Well, yeah, if you don't if you don't go for those um those at the bottom there, then I'm sure Oh, I bet you there's like some some like weird like little optimizations you can make with the uh, with the movement too. Coming off of like jumps and jumping at just the right time, especially anytime you you get like a double jump in a game, like it kind of opens up more um, options for speed. Ah. Oh in little skips and optimizations and stuff like that, so it wouldn't shock me if you could do some pretty pretty cool stuff in this game, tech-wise. Hopefully this is the kind of thing that we see at a GDQ or something like that. Supersonic speed! Good new upgrade. Ooh, a dash? Yeah, multi-dash. Yep. Yes, sir. To dash multiple times, huh? Yeah, you sure can. Nice. I should, should have just waited. Ah! Uh. Okay, we gotta do the we gotta do the bolt run first. Bolt run first. I'm also like, uh, I'm wondering how far I should get on the video because I, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much of this game if the game is like, you know, I think it said it had like, what, 50 or 60 stages or something like that. I don't want to spoil too much because y'all should play this. Oh. 
I do kind of like that um it is like traps. Like I don't I don't have any offensive capabilities, right? I sort of dig that. I I kind of like that um in in a game where the the enemies can't necessarily be defeated. Like you have to they're they're just obstacles, right? Like they're just like anything else, any other stage hazards or traps. That guy is a little little jerk, isn't he? The music of this game really is insane. It is something else. There we go. All right, now. Sick. Whoa, what? Watch your step, ZX. Oh no. Don't like this. I guess dashing is probably the move there for that guy. <laughs> I crushed her. Ouch! <laughs> Getting these bolts optimally is probably going to take some time to learn, so I probably won't uh, replay this level over and over the way I have been. That wasn't so bad. Do I? No, no, no. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. I was so tempted to replay that stage. I was like, oh, even doing it suboptimally, I still got like almost part-time. No, no, no. You don't have to do everything in one video. Ugh. Well. Weird cycle on that bad boy. Get up here. You can climb the ladder. That's good to know. I don't know if I would have immediately picked on the uh, picked up on the fact that you could climb the ladder. Like it's it's a little like uh, blended in with the environment, but not like a big deal. Uh, you feel like you can make that. Hmm. I need a double jump more. I was trying to, I was trying to get a jump off of the end of that dash there. It didn't really work out for me. This is going to be a tough one to optimize too because this one is very cycle based and there's very clearly like an optimal cycle to hit all of this. Granted, if I wasn't going for all the bolts, I probably could make a more optimal uh, a more optimal cycle here. So that is fair. Man, getting getting through that is pretty tough. Pretty precise. Getting through that uh little hallway there. Okay, I probably need to let myself fall a little bit further down and then dash. Cause I keep hitting the top. Yeah, like that. 
Ah, uh, and then I have course. All right. Up here. And just play it safe. Wow. Wow. Nice. Alright. How much further do we go? This is my dilemma right now. I want to keep playing, but I don't want to just show off, like, most of the game. You know what I mean? Oh, I thought for some, for some reason I thought I had, like, some kind of wall grab there. I do not. I mean, I guess it's possible that you unlock one later, but right now I definitely do not. We're just going for bolts right now. Just going for bolts. There's a nice sense of challenge to the game, but it's not like, uh, it isn't overly challenging, at least not yet. And honestly, like the, the game is so, um, the game is so fast, like they, they get you back into it so quick, it really is a non-issue. When you do, uh, when you do die, ah, oh, you get a, when off of the, the dash, like your, your fall speed is actually, um, a little bit faster than you expect. Okay. Hmm. I needed a dash off of that second jump there. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I had that cycle. here, do that, do that, get up here, get these, don't even have to dash over that thing, I actually didn't really expect the game to have like a story and characters either for whatever reason, like I... I don't know, I guess I expected this to be a little bit more of like, um, did y'all, anybody play Elekhead? Elekhead is a little bit more of like, a, I guess, straight face, like, no nonsense, like, puzzle game. Um, and it's good, like, I, I liked Elekhead quite a bit, but that's kind of what I thought this was gonna be. I didn't really expect it to have, like, characters and stuff. Um, so I'm, I am pleasantly surprised by that. Oh, come on! Okay, I gotta wait when I get there. I got. I just gotta wait when I get there. Learning that you don't have to, uh, that you don't have to wait and go, go back on the platform, though. Pretty good. Little stuff like that. Like, I just, I love games like this. Like, I'm just a big, I'm, I'm big into games like this. Or, oh, thought I had that. Good level design, great music, great art. 
Like, check, check, check. What more do you want, man? Alright. We're being extra safe with this. I do all of that and I miss one bolt. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> The pain in my eyes. I don't have my cam on, but if y'all could see the sheer pain in my eyes when I missed that bolt. For a brief moment there, I just like weighed my life decisions that led me to that moment. Oh, that was feeling so fast too. Might be a good place to call it just after this, uh, after this, uh, getting through this section. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Alright, what, uh, what more do we have here? Stage select. Yeah, like, we've gotten through, like, almost half the game. So I don't want to spoil too much. And it seems like there, if we get a little bit further, we get to a second boss. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to spoil too much of the game. Um, flawless runs. Oh, and it does count. Oh, wow, look at this. So you got spare parts, supersonic speed runs. Uh, 10 challenge chips, so there are secrets as well. Then, the game also counts flawless runs. Collect all spare parts and finish the stage in trophy time. So, like, if you want to do everything in this game, it, it is going to require you doing flawless runs of everything. And you get these little, like, flawless run badges on them if you manage to do it. Wow, okay. Yep. So even though there are only like 51 stages, there's going to be plenty to do here, man. Wow. Bzzzt. Wow. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I am very impressed. I did not... I genuinely didn't know what to really expect going into this. Um, and I, I could not be more impressed. I, I love the art. The music is unbelievably good. Uh, the level design's really strong. It feels great to play. It's got the speedrun stuff baked in there. It's got leaderboards. So, like, yeah, full full marks from me, man. If you uh, if you are into anything that you just saw, um, I, I highly highly recommend it. Bzzzt with uh, with four Z's. Um, available either now or soon after you guys uh, watch this um, after embargo lifts. Available on the eShop. Hit the purchase link down below um, if you would like to uh, pick it up for yourself. I highly recommend that you give this a look, man. Really, really cool. Uh, $14.99 is the standard price. It is on a launch window discount for 20% off at $11.99. Feels like an easy recommend at that price. So check it out. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks again to the publisher for passing along a code. This has been bzzzt on the Nintendo Switch. I have been Seth, and we'll see you in the next one.